Thanks, John. You know, our lawns are waking up after their long winter's nap, and they're hungry and they're thirsty. So what do you feed them, and how do you do it safely? Well, I went to Dr. Q, and he has all the right answers. Most lawns in town are fescue lawns, mm -hmm. which are uh, uh, narrow leaf, uh, evergreen, pretty much stay green all year round as long as you keep them fertilized and, and watered well. So this fertilizer right here that we have, Royal Flush, is actually a good one to use pretty much all year round rather than using a cold weather uh, fertilizer during the winter and a different one during the summer. Um, uh, this one can be used all year round. It's got a 16-4 uh, uh, ratio of macronutrients, which are 16% nitrogen, 4% phosphorus, and 8% potassium. What's the, what's the optimum temperature for using this fertilizer? Uh, this temperature, uh, the temperatures are probably between about, um, oh, 75, 80 degrees, and up to probably around 100 mm -hmm. uh, to even 105. Once we get a, beyond that, it's not real safe to use any fertilizers unless they're, they're low, um, very lower numbers, less than 10. And then you're pretty safe using that even in the hotter temperatures. Well, Dr. Q says that you've got to give your grass a really good watering, a good soaking before you put the fertilizer on because you want those roots to be able to absorb all those good nutrients from the fertilizer. And then you have to water it really well after because you want to wash all of that fertilizer off the blades of grass so you don't want it burning in the hot sun and with those temperatures that we're going to be getting here our first 90s of the year you want to get that fertilizer on and let that warmth really really do its job with that fertilizer and all that good watering also pick up the star nursery magazine the green pages lots of good stuff and information in there and I found this great section on roses I'm really envious of my neighbors because they have so many beautiful rose bushes right now which are blooming. Lots of good stuff in here on tomatoes and peppers and other things. We talked about that yesterday, but we're going to be talking about herbs and weed killers and all kinds of good stuff that will help you in your yard and maybe if you want to plant a garden while you're staying at home so much. Alex? Oh, I 